Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Battletech with Zebu's Marauders at the planet of Claybrook in the Free Worlds League. We're about to go on our first contract. Last episode, if you missed it, was our sort of administration episode where we fixed all of our mechs and all that stuff. And now we're going to do our first contract. Letter of Mark. From the uh, Free Worlds League. We're trying to build up a little bit of uh, goodwill from them. So let's negotiate this contract. Right now we need well, we need both money and salvage. We need it all. This is a half star mission though. So I think for half star missions you don't get very good salvage. I've said that before. I stand by that. So we're going to go for a little bit more money. Still a little bit of salvage. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we have our brand new fire starter mech that we have. I think we're going to bring Harpo on this mission. We'll leave Zebu behind. We don't want to risk his life on this mission. But yeah, that's all we got. We got four mechs, and that is it. Uh, the urban mech is still damaged. Wait a minute. That's no good. Where is the urban mech? Mech base. How is it still damaged? It is. Did we not repair that? We didn't. Two days. Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so we got to wait another two days before we go on this mission. Oh, look at this. Real lives of mech warriors. You and Darius are networking in a planet side bar. As Darius fetches the first round, you overhear two loud whispers from a nearby table. I'm telling you, those two are mech warriors. A hissed response. What would you know? It's not like in the Holovids. Out of the corner of your eye, you scan a group, and it's like you're gazing at your own past. Three young nobles casually stare in your direction, pampered and comfortable. Written all over their faces is a feeling you remember all too well looking for an escape from their safe, predictable lives. Um, invite them to a meeting with a client. Why would I do that? You know, I would invite them to be a client, maybe. Scare them straight. Leave them alone. This could be an interesting way to meet somebody. Like, maybe we can grab one of these guys as a recruit. So I'm going to give that one a try. Uh, they recover from their initial shock and accept your invitation to meet with a new potential client. En route, they pepper you with questions, some hopelessly naive, but some insightful. Their enthusiasm wanes, however, when they see the disreputable pirates you're negotiating with. After the scoundrels depart, you say, Do you know what happens next? Darius and I put four good mech warriors' lives at stake. Some of them might not make it back, but we'll get paid and we'll repair and heal up. That recently happened, so I'm a little cynical right now. Anyway, then we'll do it again. That's the life, until it isn't. Two of the nobles are visibly shaken. The last one looks you squarely in the eyes. You recognize that spark of defiance and determination. No lasting consequences. Dang it, I would have liked to have uh, recruited one of those young chuckleheads because we just had somebody die. But maybe that's not the best recruiting pitch. Hey, we've got an opening. Would you like to know why? Would you like to know more? Okay, let's get to our contract. Letters of Mark. All right, do this again. We'll renegotiate. Sorry about that false start there, buddies. We were not uh, we're not prepared. All right, so Harpo and the fire starter. Is that who we want down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Heat Wave is in the urban mech, which is now fully repaired. Let's deploy. So we've... I guess we've improved our lance a little bit. We've gone from having two 25-ton mechs to a 25-ton and a 35-ton. So we've slightly increased our potential. But it's a weird 35-ton mech. Fire starter with a large laser. A special flamer that I didn't even really look at see what it did. I saw it was a plus, a plus plus flamer. But I didn't really see what uh, the bonuses were. Should probably take a look at that at some point. 
Anyway, Commander, we can expect to face experienced pilots in elderly mechs and vehicles. But be careful, there could be more of these bandits than the Free World League is letting on. Oh, more of these bandits. I thought it was more to these bandits. Well, that's no good. We don't want more of them for only this much money. All right, but we shall see. Destroy all the brigand units. We'll see what they got. Hopefully, they've just got, like, light mechs and maybe a couple of vehicles. Command interface initiated. Okay, it's an interesting battleground. Enemies detected in the area. A commander. Move forward. Remind these bandits what disciplined mech warriors look like. Ha! We have much snow on my planet. Okay. So it is snowing a little bit. Okay. Sort of on a raised plateau. Some forests. And a hill up there. So I think we want to get, get around into these forests as best we can. Got it. Avoiding any uh, rough Before ground. Raspberry in the commando. She can go a little farther. Copy. Fire star. So what does this flamer plus plus do? Um, plus zero heat. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That one says plus zero heat. So it's extra damage. So it does 15 damage. And these do 10 damage. All right. That's fine. And it's fast. Look at that. I'm Zip. going. It's good that it's fast. We want them. We want the fire starter to get up in people's business. So that's good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh oh, enemy contact. Something. Okay, so they've already made it to that forest. We don't want to get stuck in the open, because I'd I'd like to keep some forest coverage. You know what I'm saying? Because that helps us stay alive. So I don't really want you to sprint into the open. Let's take the roundabout way. Be a little tactical Advancing, here. I guess. Be a little tactical. It's fine. It's fine. We can take an extra turn to set us up properly. You know, you could even come around the flank and hit him from the flank. That might not be a terrible idea. I'm listening. Harpo and the fire starter. That sounds like a maneuver for you. And sprint. Confirmed. Confirmed. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Reinforcements? We haven't even met any of their mechs yet. So it looks like maybe they've got one mech. Maybe some vehicles back there, but that could be a mech as well. Hey. Hey. Raspberry. You can almost make it to those woods. If you sprint, you can make it. We'll do the double flank maneuver here. Ow. Somebody shot at my urban mech. Don't you dare. <clears throat> okay. Good to go. Heat wave can come over here and get a shot. Yeah. On my way. He's got the auto cannon too, so we can hit him from a long distance, and the large laser, so he's looking good. Fire. A javelin, eh? Okay. So javelins are lightly armored, but they do have long range weapons. We got another one over here. No, this is a commando. Orders. So right now, we've got the heaviest mech on the field as we. Out. Expected that we would. The Centurion. So we're going to keep firing at the Javelin. Try and take it down. Auto Cannon 10, long range missiles. Good. Right arm destroyed. Unsteady. So we might be able to knock it down with a big shot. 
Oh. He's lost one of his big weapons. He's got his medium lasers. That's not going to do a lot. To the Centurion. I'm here. So what does she got? She's got the long range missiles. She can actually get up here into the forest. So that's good. Okay, that's what we wanted. Surprise, sucker. Rapid flank movement. Could do a precision strike. Try and take out that leg. No, the leg's on the wrong side. Okay. Okay, we don't need a precision strike then. Especially the LRM only has 20% chance to hit. So, we just have a short range. Yeah, we need a better mech. We definitely need a better mech as our fourth mech. That one is not good. Yeah. Uh, Ready for orders. Let's go with Heat Wave. On the other hand, a precision strike from you would be pretty good. What's this center torso like? Center torso only has 34 armor left. We could do 65 damage. So we could possibly destroy him with a center torso hit. Jump jet destroyed. That hit something good. Okay. Guess that's fine. They always go for the commando. Oh, the third mech has come up, a fire starter. Speaking right of here. fire mm -hmm. starters. Got a fire starter of our own. <clears throat> now, unlike other fire starters, I've got a little bit of range on me. Got three medium lasers and a two medium lasers and a large laser. How's that gonna do for my heat? Ah, heat's fine because we got that heat sink. Firing at him. Firing at him. Left arm destroyed. Alright, that guy's basically useless now. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's uh oh, head hit, pilot injured. Don't go after our heat sink. Get out of there. Get out of there, course. Yes, Commander. Move over position. here, get a little closer to the commando. I think we need to start pummeling on this guy right now. Oh, I should have stayed where I was. I forgot I've got the long-range guns. This is like a waste, honestly. I'm going to brace. I got to remember who's got what. Ooh, ooh, what's this? The fourth mech. Not happy about that. Commander. Um, what is this? Unknown mech. I don't like unknown mechs. But I'm going to come up and get closer to this unknown mech. A Jenner, okay. This is fine. Here you go. Structure exposed, jump jet oh, destroyed. Now I'm just tearing you up. Gotta get that commando out of there. What no? Raspberry. Moving to position. They're going after my lightest mech, which, you know, who can blame them? Now, what are you doing? 
Okay, you're a dummy. Oh, he punched the urban mech. Okay. I'm here. Roger. Now he's got long range guns too, so. Take the auto cannon two off. Locked on. Miss. No. Oh, that guy's got lasers in his torso. I did not realize that. Reporting internal damage. I thought everything was in his arms. All right, we're gonna take him out Commander. in a minute. But first, we're gonna knock the snot out of this guy. Engaging. Right arm destroyed. Hit, Battle bot situation going on here. And he went around and got to my back. I mean, the thing about the Centurion is it is set up to be like a brawler. Standing by. Location confirmed. Okay, Urban Mech. Put the auto cannon back. Engaged. Precision strike. And kill this guy. See you later. Copy that. Nope. Nope, just killed a jump jet. I thought he was dead for sure. Okay, they're trying to focus on our the biggest threat now. That's a new tactic. Normally they focus on the weakest. Yeah. Okay, Harpo. Going to uh Go after the Jenner. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's attack the Jenner, but let's not use the large laser. Well, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to. I mean, look at the heat. The heat is like nothing. So if we do hit with the large laser, it'll it'll be extra special. Here we go. Oh, there we go. We did hit. Plus 35 heat. Ah! I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. Stop that. Structure explodes. Explodes my plus 20 heat. Didn't beat up. Hey. Hey. Okay. Affirmative. Affirmative. Fire our long range missiles at the Jenner. Only a 30% chance to hit. Missed. Wah, wah. So the no meet. Yeah, we definitely need to get you a better mech. Here comes this guy. What's he gonna do? Try to kick me? Oh. Shoot me in the back. How dare you? How dare? Good to go. Um, let's see. I think my best... My best option... I, I want to melee punch these guys, but... I don't want my back to be turned to the other guys, but I guess their most firepower is here. So, I mean, I should be able to crush this guy. Yeah. But now I've turned my back on the other mechs. This is another tough fight. Okay. Heat wave. Both his legs are busted. What do my jump jets do? What could I do with jump jets? Not a lot. Not a lot. Take 
acknowledged. Okay, let's see if we can finish this guy off. Actually, he's still pretty healthy. He's just missing an arm. Oh no. I've got I've got a bad fire signal there. I'm gonna hit I'm probably gonna hit the 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 earth. Missed. I did do 20 points of damage. Ooh, a short-range missile knocked out. That's good. Jenner. Smoking. Okay, didn't do much to the commando. That's good. I uh, copy. Hmm. No, I don't want to sprint. I thought I had jump jets, but I do not. Hmm. I'll be out of the trees if I go there. I'm trying to stay in short range here. But I'm also trying to not get attacked in the back again. I think that's still in short range. Yeah, that is still in short range. Okay, so we're trying to take out this Jenner. He's got a lot of damage. I'm gonna fire everything at him. It's gonna give us a little bit more heat, but we're we're still good. Even after getting hit with all those flamers, you know, we still don't add a lot of heat to ourselves, and we can destroy this guy. Fire now. Jump just destroyed, right arm destroyed, right torso destroyed, critical heat hit. critical. Get dusted, son. Left torso, left Weapons arm destroyed down. from the rear. How terrible. Yes, Commander. Okay, Raspberry. See if I can finish off that Jenner. Short range missile. Fire. Yes. Get out of here. Enemy down. Probably should have fired at the Centurion, but you know what? Receiving you. Courser will take care of that guy. What did he lose? He lost his long range missiles. All he's got left is an auto cannon. And a big attack. I'm gonna punch. Copy that. Get out. Get stomped on, sucker. That's a kill. Show me your war face. I should probably uh, put. Oh, he did get behind me. Heat critical. Internal. I'm heating up good. Okay, we're coming to your rescue here. Waiting for orders. Coming to the rescue. Urban mech. Let's see if we can get a big hit. Precision strike. Looking good. Big hits. Big hits. What has he got? He's got 103 armor. I think we're going to aim for a leg. Right? Yeah. No, that's the urban mech. Anyway, we'll aim for a leg. Try to knock him down. We miss. Missed. Damn it. Say that again, brother. Standing by. All right, Raspberry. So the problem with having short-range missiles and long-range missiles is that you gotta find the sweet spot where they can both kind of hit. And that sweet spot might be out here in the middle of the ocean here. No, that's no good. So, I guess we'll go here. I'm there. So we got some mech construction problems for sure. Here we go. Our mechs should be much better than they are. Hmm. Okay. Um. So heat is like a problemo. Can we just run? 
Just sprint into the woods. Maximum speed. It is a cold world. There we go. That, you know, without shooting, that really helped out our heat. So that's good. And Courser gets to go next. What happens if he just stands here and shoots? 85%. Called shot. Center torso. Firing. Oh! Left torso destroyed. Left arm destroyed. That's what we're looking for. Take out some of those heat guns. Yeah. How about you? Let's just take some long shots here. 80% with the large laser. Oh Should God. do some serious damage. And it does. No destruction. That melted, melted a lot of armor. Right here. Raspberry. Take some shots. There we go. Wow. I got him. Good job, Commander. These people can get back to their lives. Okay. So surprisingly none of our mechs were destroyed. Took some damage there for sure. Took a lot of damage, but we got construction problems. Uh, 157 is the payout. So we're going to struggle on some of these missions for sure. Er, everybody needs to be repaired except for the commando, surprisingly. Like, the commando took a lot of damage up up front, but then managed to, like, you know, run around and not get shot at. That's good, I guess. All right, so. Uh... We're one away from getting another commando, but I don't know that we need another commando, but we could sell it, I guess. Um, we could get a Jenner. We could get it, you know, halfway on our way to another fire starter. Let's do that. I mean, we also need all kinds of laser weapons and stuff, so maybe we should have taken more in, in terms of salvage, but we'll see what we get. So we get the Jenner, two medium lasers, and a jump jet. Okay. Oof. That's not going to help us too much, I don't think. It help us a little, but not too much. The first battle mech was developed by scientists and military. Oh, I missed, missed it. Anyway, we're going to need to do some mech repairs before our next contract, boss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was a really tough half-star mission. I mean, those guys, they had four fully functional battle mechs. It's four on four. Luckily, you know, we did have... We did have the advantage in tonnage, but still, it wasn't great. Okay, so we'll come back next episode. We'll try to repair some stuff and try not to go bankrupt. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.